Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from PotPieGirl.com. Uh, I am back and today, here I am, look at that, I'm getting a little better with my graphics. Today I actually have a hair color, brown, and actually right now, yes, my hair does look exactly like that. So this is a very accurate picture of me. The only thing I wanted was a golf club, but I couldn't figure out how to draw that very well. Maybe another day. Alright, today I want to talk to you about finding good keywords for your Squidoo lens. I'm talking about keywords, words that Google has not already found somewhere in the 1.5 million pages they already have in the Squidoo site in their index, or words that are not used that often that you have an opportunity to rank for because you have pleased Google and Google will rank you highly. Okay, when we left off last time, I was in a website called CB Analytics. This is a site I use to find ClickBank products. I like it very much. It's current and I'm trying to spell and <laughs> seriously y'all this is not that easy. Don't don't try this at home. It's only for the professionals. Dot com. Okay, I'll hold the M here on my hand. CBanalytics.com. Anyway, the, the, right now I'm looking at the top products on the in the marketplace, but you can also see the new products by day. Every day you can get up and see the new products that are released. It's a good site. I highly recommend it. Free to use. We were looking at what was it? The Panic Away. Where did you go? Uh, Panic Away. Here it is. And I was showing you how I take the URL of the sales page, not an affiliate link, just the URL of the sales page, come over to the Google Keyword Tool, I click Website Content, and I put the URL right here. I don't click anything else other than Get Keyword Ideas. What I'm doing is I'm sending Google to that sales page, they're going to spider it, and then come back to me with a list of keywords that Google thinks that that sales page, that web page, is relevant to. And we want to find something that hasn't been overused within Squidoo. As you can see, this is a big market. Um, I want to panic away treatment. I'm trying to find something relevant, but I'm also short of time. So let's go treatment for panic attacks. It's got a 6600 searches per month to 3600 not bad but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add just click add and let me scroll you over a little bit and let me show you where that puts you puts you right here then I want to click get more related keywords and I got to type this thing in X J O L X H U and then I'm going to let it run and it's going to give me some ideas and some more long tail ideas that are specific that maybe I can find an opening in the Squidoo site to use. Um, I really don't know what that product is about, but I'm going to say, let's just try this one. Best treatment for panic attacks. Come to Google. I only want to search on the Squidoo site. Right now, I want to just find words that are not just, uh, that Squidoo is not totally saturated for. I will check other web presence competition within Google in a little bit, but right now I just want to know Squidoo. I search and there's only nine. That's not bad. Now I'm just going to wander here and see what else I can find. Herbal treatment, eight. I found one in the other site natural treatment. See, some of these I might have to drill down even further. Um, three. Okay, now this is one I might actually go for. I would probably look further now into my keyword, keyword research. I put this on a list and I would dig down further. Keep doing this until you find an opening in the Squidoo site and then try it. Give something Google. Give them a reason to rank you highly. Don't do what everyone else does. Be different. Put unique content. Find an open door to get your lens found and ranked highly in Google. I'm out of time. This is Jennifer from PotPieGirl.com. I hope you'll stop by and see me. Have a great day.